three in my uh, tat series. This is going to be about brows. Um, this is not going to show you how to groom your brows, um, but this is just going to show you how to fill them in if you need to fill them in. Um, like I say in the tutorial, I don't feel like everybody needs to absolutely fill in their brows. Sometimes as long as they're just groomed and they are shaped correctly, and you don't have to do this. This is just for those of us like myself who have like really crappy brows and have to fill them in. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so I'm kind of cutting off like part of my head right now, but I'm doing this to show you this is about the distance that you would be if you're talking to somebody. Um, if you are talking to somebody closer to this, then you shouldn't be. <laughs> it's kind of invading your personal area. So from here, if you'll notice, my eyebrows don't really look that bad. They look fairly groomed. They look, I mean, as good as they're going to look for my eyebrows. I hate my eyebrows. That's a different story. Um, if I zoom you guys in, you can see that even when you're this close to me, um, I have like a few stray hairs, but it's nothing really that bad. Um, what I do in this case, I take one of these little spoolies. Um, this is actually like a disposable one. I got this in a set, like you can get like a set of five or six at Ulta, so that's what I did. What I do is I just kind of take this and brush this. I kind of brush it up, and then I just kind of brush it to the side. Like, as you can see, my eyebrows do not like work well with me. I'd recommend a spoolie before I recommend this. I think this works, I think the spoolie works a little bit better with separating the hairs in your brow. So basically what I do is just kind of brush it up like this. They don't have to be perfect. Um, and then I look, I do tweeze my eyes uh, like every morning um, just because it just helps with the main maintenance of them. I actually thread my own eyebrows, which I can show you how to do if y'all would like to see a video on that. I can show you, but I use tweezermans and they are bright pink. I got these for um, Christmas, but you don't have to use these expensive ones because these are about 20 bucks a piece. You don't have to use these. Anyways, what I do, ooh, hello, focus. Um, what I do is I kind of pull up on my brow just a tad and any like stray hairs I'll pull out. And just so you know, I'm not using a magnifying mirror. I absolutely do not recommend using a magnifying mirror because you will get tweezer happy and see all these hairs that are there, but people aren't really going to see. So if people aren't going to see it, don't pull them out. So what you want to do is just do this in a regular mirror. You can get close to the mirror, but don't get a magnifying mirror. I try not to tweeze on top of my brows because I want to keep that shape because I have very small eyebrows to begin with, so I don't want to get like pull out all these hairs. So I'm just lightly going through and pulling out some of these. And then I have something like that. Like I really don't take a long time to do this. Then I'll go through it and brush them again. And what is that little piece of fuzz? I'm going to zoom out so I can talk to you because I feel really weird talking to you like this. <laughs> Um, if you're like in middle school or something, I really, really don't recommend like filling in your brows. I think it looks really ridiculous when young girls like fill in their brows because they've got like these really dark brows because they really don't know how to do it. If you've like lost your, if you've like shaved all your eyebrows off or if you've like lost them in a grill fire or something, that's okay to like color them in. But other than that, don't. If you're in high school, eh, just kind of use your best judgment. Um... I never started filling in my brows. I don't even fill my eyebrows in on a daily basis. However, your eyebrows do frame your face, so it's really important that you at least groom them. That's why I at least take the time to, like, tweeze them and stuff, but I don't necessarily, um, fill them in every day. So, the next thing I do, if I'm wanting to fill in my brows, and I'm just going to do this one for camera purposes, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the other one before I come back. So, if you're wanting to fill in your brows, I'm going to zoom you guys back in. Um, I'm just going to go about right here so you can see the whole thing because I don't want to be that close. What you're definitely going to need is an angled brush. This is one that I got from Coastal Sense. If you can see, it's just like angled like that. You don't need like an expensive or special brush for this. Now, you can also use, if you'd like, a pencil to fill in your brows. This is the, what is it, the NYX? Um, just a dark brown eye pencil. I recommend trying different things and seeing what works best for you. I found that powder works best for me because it stays longer and I don't really have to worry about it coming off and it's easier to fix if you make a mistake while you're doing your brows. Now, if you are blonde, 
You want to pick a shade of brown that is about two shades darker than your natural hair color. If you're brunette or if you have dark hair like black hair, you want to pick a shade that's two shade, one or two shades lighter. Because if you can tell, like my hair <laughs> is dark and this, could you imagine if that was my eyebrow? Anyways. Um, my hair is really dark compared to my eyebrows. It is definitely one or two shades lighter, so I'm going to choose a shade or two lighter. Now, this is what your Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette comes in handy for because you've got, okay, minus the fact that mine's missing five, you've got a whole entire palette of colors that you can use. Now, the color that I choose is, is this one right here. Okay, it's on the very, very far side of this and it's four up. I choose this one right here. Sometimes I dip a little bit of this in here and I mix these two colors, but for the most part I just use that one. So, what I do, I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a tad. Okay, so the first thing I do is I dip my brush in this. I don't get a lot on because I can use, I can always get more, but I can't take any away. So what I do is I start where the bulk of the hair is and I kind of just start making really short strokes to kind of fill in all the areas that I don't see hair and you can see this is already making my eyebrows darker and this is definitely two shades lighter than my hair at least if not more um, and then what I do when I get down here I change the angle to my brush like instead of using it like this I change it to like where it's kind of flat and then I just kind of make it so it kind of makes it even on the bottom like that like see that how that made that sharp line and then what I do is just continue this line and you want to use an extremely extremely light hand you do not want this to be too heavy and I'm just using the short strokes now a good thing to realize, and I'm sure you probably know this, if not, this is a good trick. Um, if you lay something up against your eye, this is where you want your eyebrows to start. The reason you want them to start right by your nose is because if you can tell, my eyebrows start right here. Like, see how that kind of made them my nose look smaller right here? So if you have a problem and you don't like your nose and you think it's too big or something, then you can actually start your eyebrows a little bit closer. I mean, I definitely do not recommend this whole unibrow nonsense. But if you want to start them a little bit closer to create the um, illusion of a smaller nose, that's cool too. However, I don't really have that problem. Okay, to where your eyebrows should end, see how short my eyebrows are? Like, I've got all this extra space. I can fit my whole little finger in here. Um, you want your eyebrows to end right in a line where your lower lash line is. So, I actually have to extend mine just a tad. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And see, now you can see that they end right where they're supposed to. Now, if you'll notice, um, this doesn't really look like exactly straight. That's totally okay. What you want to do is take a Q-tip. This is why I like using powder because it does um, kind of go away easy, like I said, if you make mistakes. So take a Q-tip and just kind of run it underneath. And see how that kind of cleaned up that line? Now, let's say, like, see how this frames this eye? Like, I haven't even done anything to this eye, and it looks like I have, like, at least some kind of shadow on it. I feel like a pirate. Um, it creates a really good good shape to this side of my face. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but when you do it yourself, you'll definitely see. Now, with this eye, I mean, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it just looks so much better when you have something that frames your eyes because your eyes want to be the focal point of your entire makeup, in my opinion. So it's a really good thing if you have to find brows. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my other eyebrow, but um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.